All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at, at finding roots of complex numbers. And the idea is if you have a complex number in polar form, uh, r times the quantity cosine theta plus i sine theta, to find the nth roots, we take, uh, we take our r value, we take the nth root of that, and then we have to calculate uh, this quantity cosine of theta plus 2 pi k over n plus i sine of theta plus 2 pi k over n. And we'll let k vary from 0, 1, 2, up to the value n minus 1. So it looks a little worse than I think what it is, um, hopefully. So uh, one thing uh, you'll always have to do, if you're given a complex number, if it's not already in polar form, you're going to have to put it in polar form. OK, so in our example here, we want to find the two square roots of 4 times cosine of 90 degrees plus i sine of 90 degrees. And um, let's just use our formula here. So we're going to take the square roots. And again, when we're taking a square root, we're taking a second root here. Um, so then we would have cosine of, well, 90 degrees plus, OK, we use 2 pi in the formula. Equivalently, we can use 360 degrees times k over n, Let's see if we can't squeeze this one all in here, uh, plus i sine of 90 degrees plus 360 degrees times k over n. All right, so now what we have to do, um, k can vary from 0, 1, up to n minus 1. Well, in this case, since n equals 2, well, n minus 1 would be, well, 2 minus 1, or 1. So the idea is we're going to have to use this formula, um, but all we're going to do is we're going to plug in the values k equals 0 and k equals 1. Uh, we'll simplify those, and those will give us our roots. OK, so let's do the k equals 0 case. Well, the square root of 4, that's just 2. And then we would have cosine of um, let's see, I only put an n in the bottom. We can even go ahead and put the 2 in the bottom in this case. Okay, so we've got 90 degrees plus, well, if we plug in k equals 0, we'll just get, well, 0 over 2 plus i sine of, we'll get the same thing, we'll just get 90 degrees plus 0 over 2. And that's going to be one of our complex numbers. Um, the other the other complex number, uh, the root, will be when k equals 1. And if we use k equals 1, well, again, out front we have the square root of 4, which is just going to give us 2. And then, uh, again, just plugging in k equals 1 into our formula. So we would have cosine of 90 degrees plus 360 degrees over 2 plus i sine of... 90 degrees plus 360 degrees over 2. And that would be the other one. So um, let's go ahead and simplify these down a little bit. So let's see. We've got, uh, so for our k equals 0 case, we've got 2 times cosine of well, 90 degrees over 2 would give us 45 degrees, plus i sine of the same thing, which will be 45 degrees. And again, we can always clean this up a little bit. Cosine of 45 degrees, that's root 2 over 2. Sine of 45 degrees is also going to give us square root of 2 over 2. And if we distribute out the 2, the 2's will cancel, and we'll just be left with the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2i. Okay, so that's going to be uh, one of our roots. And the other will be when k equals 1. Let's see, so when k equals 1, this was our other value. So when k equals 1, we'll get 2 times cosine. Let's see, so 90 plus uh, 360, that's going to be uh, 450. So we'll have 450 degrees divided by 2. Well, 450 degrees divided by 2 is going to give us 225 degrees.
plus I sine of the same thing, 225 degrees. And now we can always just simplify this down a little bit. So uh, 225 degrees, 180 will be at pi, another 225. Um, at 225, we'll get negative root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2 for both cosine and sine. So we've got 2 times negative root 2 over 2 plus i sine of 225, which is also going to be negative root 2 over 2. Well, again, the same thing. If we distribute out the negative, the, two, the 2's will cancel, and we'll get negative square root of 2 minus square root of 2 i. Okay, and that's it. We've now got our complex roots in this case.